we were good sisters to each other and she was a mother of two children. We turn now to a story you will see only on RTV6. Five years after a central Indiana woman was beaten to death by her husband, those closest to her are making sure her life had meaning. You may remember the 2009 case of Beth Stayers, who was killed in Boone County. Her death inspired sweeping changes in the IU health system, with her colleagues vowing to save the lives of other domestic violence victims. RTV6 reporter Chance Walser joins us live outside Methodist Hospital with more on how Beth is still motivating the people she left behind. Chance. Beth's family describes her as a kind-hearted nurse, a Purdue Boilermaker, and a loving mother of two. Now they say she's the silent voice fighting for victims living in abuse. Details of Beth Stayer's 2009 death are tough to hear and hard to forget. Then 32-year-old Michael Stayer beat her to death with the hammer as their 5-year-old son looked on. The two had been divorced less than a month, but even before that day, her family saw signs of trouble. He was very emotionally and verbally abusive to her that she just shielded so much from the family. Before her death, as a mother of two, Beth worked as a nurse at IU North Hospital. Since her death, her work family has created Beth's Legacy of Hope, a program now celebrating its fifth year. It gives nurses mandatory training on how to appropriately and sensitively screen and respond to patients who might be victims. It's a simple question of, are you safe at home? And that starts the conversation. If someone says they're not safe at home, obviously there's a multiple reasons why they can't be safe, um, but we know to dive deeper into those questions. Program coordinators say hospitals like Methodist are to be a safe haven for domestic violence victims. Beth's face and her tragic story are to be both a cautionary tale and an inspiration for others. With nowhere else to turn, turn here. Be okay with leaving because I don't want anyone to be content with not changing and, and not moving away. You don't want to be another domestic homicide statistic. Beth's legacy of hope started in August of 2012. It includes training at all, for all new hire PCAs and RNs. That means to date, more than 1,500 employees are now better qualified to deal with domestic violence issues. Remember, Stair was a nurse. Since her death, IU Health has focused heavily on screening their own employees. They say about 22% of their 5,600 employees report identifying now or in the past as a victim. So in place at all this training are crisis intervention specialists to intervene as some of those employees identify as victims. Live downtown tonight, Chance Walser, RTV6.